Hi, we're here today with Bradford House Consulting, Kim Venable. Um, Kim is a interior design and consulting company that works very closely with us here at the Marku team. We love working with Kim because our clients love working with Kim. But thank you for being here Thanks today. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Tell us a little bit about your business and Bradford Consulting. How did you get started? Well, like you said, we do staging design and consultations. Um, we take you from getting your house ready to sell all the way to once you move in, we can get it looking really great, have visitors over, show off the new space, um, and everything in between. Um, we got started several years ago, kind of by accident. Mm -hmm. I was working in marketing and advertising and just that downtown grind was getting to mm -hmm. me. And I was looking for something new to do. And at the same time, I had a real estate agent who was a friend who kept asking me to go, hey, go help these people get their house ready. And I was staging before I even knew that's what it was. Um, they you were staging before staging was cool. Correct, <laughs> correct. Um, it was kind of HGTV that told us what we were. Sure. And so um, it just kind of became something went from part-time into full-time. It, it, it came along at the right time and been doing it ever since. And I've built lots of good clients like you um, over the years and keep getting called back. So yeah. we must be doing a good job. You are doing a great job. What are the top three things that you would say almost globally as you go into homes, the top three things that almost every house has to either modify or make a change to get their home prepared? Um, three things, lighting, lighting, lighting. Lighting must be important. <laughs> People really discount that often. They don't think about that. It's just something that you, it's kind of disregarded. But I've found over the years that it's a psychological impact on, that lighting has on people. Um, if it's really good lighting, people like your house and they don't understand why. And mm -hmm. if it's really bad lighting, they don't like it and mm -hmm. they don't know why. We did a house one time, um, the agent called us and said, I didn't think we needed you. This house is perfect. I don't know what's happening. Please go over, see what you can figure out. We go over and everything checked all the boxes. Great kitchen, gourmet kitchen, granite, great bath. Master was on the main floor. I mean, everything you want in a house, this house had. But as we went through each room by room, I would say, you need to add a light here. You need to turn this light on. And about the fifth room, I looked at the seller and said, are you turning the lights on? And she said, oh, no. I oh, thought her agent would pass out. said, oh, my gosh, you haven't been turning the lights on. She said, absolutely. No, we turn them off. Oh my goodness. So we got the lights turned on and they got a contract that weekend. So wow. lighting really does make a difference. And it's not just a matter of turning all the lights on in a house. Um, a lot of times key areas need certain lights. You want the house to feel warm and, and inviting and, and welcoming to people. Mm -hmm. And overhead lights don't always do that. So I really try to get people to turn on key lights. And I go through it with them and say, I want you in this room to turn these lights on. And kind of set Great. the mood. Excellent, excellent advice for them. I know we, we provide for our clients Kim's services. So she goes in and has her consultation prior to pictures being taken of the homes. And our I find that our sellers are prepared. They know that when the photographer comes, that they've already checked to make sure all the recessed lighting is the same type of bulb, so it has the same glow. So you don't have a blue one, an orange one, a yellow one. Because um, each different type, yeah. right? Well, it's funny that you bring up bulbs. Uh, I kind of nag people. They, they really hate me over the bulbs because bulbs are not cheap anymore. No, they are not. But, like I said, it makes a big impact. Um, the, the clear bulbs are probably the worst thing you can use. Uh, Edison bulbs are very popular and they look really cool. I get that. But, when you're going to sell a house, that's a, sa a design element you kind of need to sacrifice. We need to put that away, use a regular old frosted soft white light bulb, um, and get rid of those clear or those swirly compact fluorescents because it does make a difference. I'll be darned. So if you hear that one, a little tip from the professional yes. here. What are a couple of the current trends that you're seeing in home decor today? I mean, we know we're all gray, 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 gray. Yes, and I've said this before, I like gray, I really do, but a little bit goes a long way. You don't want everything to be dull and flat. You need to inject some life into that gray tone, um, some green, some, some fresh plants, things like that. Help liven up that gray because gray can be very bland and, and dull. So 
be careful with gray, but mm -hmm. it's a good neutral. All neutrals are good. What people get in trouble with doing is selecting a super trendy thing. Um, right now, the, the current thing that I'm seeing a lot is these big pattern tiles that people are putting oh, yeah, in. Yeah, they're very popular. Yes, and they, Beautiful. Look, they are this year. Mm. I'm afraid that in a couple of years, we're going to look back and say, what was I thinking? It's, it's a lot like the chevron pattern that was popular a few years ago or, you know, just the big pattern Waverly wallpaper that we all bought in the 80s. Those big cabbage roses did not stand the test of time. So I'm afraid that those big pattern tiles are going to be just like that. And you want to not put those in areas that are going to be hard to change later on. Sure. So maybe use them in a smaller quantity in an area that would be easy to change because it'll date the home long before it should even be dated. Exactly. Right. And listen, there is nothing worse than having to tell somebody, this is super dated, you're going to have to remodel. And, and we have to do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, What would you say is the most difficult consultation you've been on? I haven't really had one that just is the top most difficult. I'd say as a group of, of difficult types is the seller that doesn't really want to sell. That'd be hard for all of us. Yes, I've, I've, I've had people in tears because they just weren't ready. Maybe they've got a, a spouse that's transferring and mm, they don't want to go. And when you're getting ready to sell, you need to be motivated. So it makes my job more difficult when I have to tell somebody to do something that they don't really want to do. So the the better thing is when people are motivated and excited to sell because it gets them you know, more on board with the game plan that we're trying to give them to get their house ready. Sure, sure. When they're emotionally attached, they love their home. They're not interested in making those no. changes that would be more appealing to a bigger pool of buyers. That's the whole purpose, Correct. right? Absolutely. To neutralize the home to be more appealing, not, not be as customized just to that homeowner. Absolutely. What do you think is um, one of the most important or a couple of the most important things for selecting a staging consultant? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would say the, the best thing is to get someone that can work with what you have on hand. It's super easy to go into a vacant property and put stuff out. It, just about anybody can do that. They can go to a, a furniture showroom, pick out some group, you know, seating groupings or dining groupings, put those in a space and call it a day. That's easy. What's difficult is to take what people already have and work with that and make it, you know, show off the most potential of the house. That is really tough for people. So you need somebody that can come in quickly and communicate well with these people and get them motivated, like we said, to get their house ready and use what they have on hand, not spend all their money adding new stuff. Right. That probably won't work in the new place they're going to. Maybe not. Right. I have seen Kim do that as we go from move room to room to room. Kim will bounce back and say, hey, three rooms ago there was a lamp or there was a table or there was that would look great here. So I know that you're you're excellent at repurposing what's already existing and helping people to do go through the process of the decluttering and rearranging to get the right look. Yeah, it's it, a lot of times we'll take the main rooms or the biggest rooms that have the most uh, difficult issues in and we'll go to those last because I might see something in other rooms that can be used to make that space better and more functional and more open, which is what everybody wants these days, that open concept. Right, right. So we just try to stick with those trends that everybody wants, check all the boxes, and do it with what you have on hand as much as we can. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Again, this was Bradford House Consulting. Kim Venable, would you like to give your email or phone number for folks to get in touch with you? Sure. If you want to give me a call, my number is 615-587-1335. And my email is bradford.house at comcast.net. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you.